G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for www.tacklejunkiefish, the product testing arm of Fishing Monthly Magazines and we are at the day after the night before, this is the day after the uh, 2018 After Trade Show, uh, the Gala Awards, big night hosted by Ash Bradenham from Nova Radio in Brisbane, uh, around 300 of the industry there having some great food, uh, a few drinks, there's a few dusty ones going to be around this morning, but most importantly we awarded this best of show the best uh, product category awards. Uh, plenty of runners up that were a little bit disappointed that they just missed out, but plenty of really happy winners. There may be even a few broken trophies this morning. After gives out glass trophies and also free beer. They don't mix sometimes. Come on, let's take a tour of what's uh, what won the prizes. This is the precinct. Uh, Matt, if you have a bit of a look around the precinct here, you see there's over 200 products that were entered. Um, in the really competitive categories, the hard lures, up to 40 products entered. Uh, other categories, there was only three or four. Um, depended on how many new and innovative products were in those areas. But let's start at the, uh, the combos. Uh, the best combo was this pure fishing uh, uh, Abu Garcia reel, the Matrix Extreme reel and rod. This thing is one of the lightest rods you've ever felt in your whole life. It's the real finesse rod. Um, this thing must weigh, whole thing feels like it weighs about 150 grams, it's ridiculous. Uh, don't quote me on that weight, it's ridiculously light. The brim guys, the guys that throw uh, real fine fluorocarbon are going to really love it. So look for that in the stores this year, won the best, uh, best combo. Best game fishing rod here, we had the live, this is the Australian built, uh, live fibre, uh, it's, I'm not going to read out all the numbers for it, but the live fibre bent butt game fishing rod with full rollers. Built in Brisbane, um, great for catching Australian uh, game fish. The Wilsons guys also got the award for being the most raucous when they won an award. They won a, a stand award, I think, and they won a few product awards as well. So we're going to see more of their products soon. Best rod, quite competitive all the way through here, but this was the best rod. It was the actual rod that was part of the best combo as well, that uh, that real finesse rod. So again, that uh, the rod, I don't think, know exactly what it weighs, but I do a lot of brim fishing and that thing is ridiculously light. Uh, looks great has got the micro guides on the top I'm going to show you some of these micro guides check out how small those little suckers are uh, great for fishing that two and three pound finesse straight through fluorocarbon that the tournament guys love fishing so there's one for the tournament guys there winning best rod best fly category uh, we re reels rods lines all rolled into the one category it was a tie for the winner with the uh, the Rio jungle series line and uh, their sage igniter fly rod uh, sharing the awards so same company brings it in JM Gillies the rod the line equal number of votes let's go to best reel in the past there's been acres of best reels at the moment though uh, there was only about nine entered this year best reel and we thought it might have happened because I think it won it at iCast as well the Shimano Curado DC that's that digital uh, digital bait caster that you don't even have to use your thumb anymore on it we talked about it in a previous uh, Tackle Junkie show um, scroll back on our videos if you want to see the Chris Cleaver talk about the full de details of that but best reel got 36 percent of the boat <coughs> Best sunglasses it was a tie actually. Um, Mako's uh, this one here with the flash mirror glass lens inside, or Spotters Fusion Ice. So you know, great Australian made uh, uh, glasses there by Spotters. They both got 15% of the vote. So when you look across it, it's like glasses are very subjective. If you like the frames, a lot of the time you get the awards. But those two guys shared the honours and shared the trophy. Best game fishing lure, not a massive category, uh, but this one here, the Gillies uh, Blue Water HC Stick Bait, won it uh, with 30% of the vote. Only a few percent, probably only a vote or two ahead of the uh, of the Rapala Saltwater X Wrap. So uh, look, interesting, small category, um, but that was the stick bait that won it. Let's go to the soft lures though. This is a massive category that we have here, um, and it was the first lure that was entered that won the won the biscuits. Um, the River to Sea uh, Chase Bait 200 mil Ultimate Squid. This one here, uh, we've uh, we've seen some great baits from River to Sea over the years, or this Chase Bait brand of River to Sea in Australia. That squid this year got. 27% of the vote, so there's around 15 or 20 lures here. Um, one in four people voted for that lure, so that's really killing it in the category. This was the biggest category of all, the best hard lure. And Matt, if you want to have a look around all of these lures here, there is a, a big variety of lures, a bit of a diversity, and of course, uh, with so many lures, it would be hard to get more than a couple of votes 
per bait. But the best lure, our best hard lure, uh, was River to Sea again, baits again. The Chase Baits Frill Seeker, this one here, looks like the little frilly lizard. It's a top water style wake bait. Uh, great looking lure, got one in five people that voted for these 40 lures, voted for that Frill Seeker. So we took home the, took home the biscuits. Um, best line, also very competitive category. We've got new releases from Daiwa, Berkeley, Shimano, Platypus, all the big names are in there. But the Berkeley X9 braid here got one in four votes uh, and that took home the award for the best line, the Berkeley X9 braid. Let's go to Terminal Tackle, again a pretty big category and when the voting was happening it was, um, it was all over the shop. The, uh, the, uh, so one was winning one section, one was winning the other section. These aren't the lures that won it, it's the TT Swimlocks Jig Head which is up here. Let's get up here Matty, these ones here, the Swimlocks Jig Heads from TT. They won it, they are the, you know, the big barra style one, you can put a, uh, put a, a stinger hook on there, um, catch any fish that swims in Australian waters with those things. Great local company, makes a great product, that won the award. Let's get through to the uh, the best outdoor and camping product. You know, a couple of tables worth of product here, but the, the Yeti uh, Hopper back, uh, Backflip Backpack. Um, you know, basically a massive storage unit that you can drag around on your back. Um, very great, good quality. They look good. Very popular on the show. 31% of the people that voted, voted for the Yeti product. Um, let's get down to the tackle management section. Normally it's something where Plano has a real uh, a real uh, strength and they win, but guess what? That didn't win this year. The runner-up was the Daiwa tackle bag, but the best tackle management was voted the Wilson's uh, Platinum Tournament bag here. So it uh, fits all of those standard, uh, standard size boxes. Obviously Wilson's on a bit of a roll at the moment. They make some great lures, make some great tackle management systems. Good Brisbane company that are uh, kicking some real goals. Game fishing accessory category, not many in there, um, but the winner, of course, the uh, anyone who's done a lot of hand crimping will know that it's hard to knock over the big ones. Uh, Viva Tackles uh, uh, Cobalt Blue Brinch Crimper, that uh, that was the one that won the best uh, award for the night. So well done, guys. Best boating accessory is always really, really diverse, and uh, the runner-up was the actually the teaser bar here that you can hang at the back to uh, keep control of your big teasers. But the winner was the the Yeti bucket. You know, it's we've all seen buckets over the years, but this one here, the uh, the loadout bucket, it's called. Um, it's a high-featured bucket. It's actually food grade. You can use it for whatever you like, and you cannot break this thing. It's all reinforced, made by the guys at Yeti that make some fantastic stuff. Yeti also won one of the best stand awards as well from memory. Uh, getting through to one of the last categories, we have uh, the water sport dive product. Uh, again, sort of varied, varied amount of uh, product in this one here. This was the one that won at this, the AFN's cool bag down the bottom here. Uh, of course, it's the bag you can fold up, fill with ice. Um, you know, keep it, keep it in your boat. So when you do want to keep a fish, you're going to keep it in the best condition possible. So yeah, let's get across here to uh, best uh, best clothing accessory. Um, the best clothing accessory was uh, Samaki's uh, black marlin shirt here. Good looking shirt. All the votes were pretty close in here, like they only got 20% of the vote, but uh, when there's seven or eight in the category, that's enough to, uh, to take it out. So Samaki's uh, sublimated uh, black marlin shirt uh, took the goods there. Can't forget about the best, the biggest and most prestigious uh, award of all, the John Dunphy Memorial, uh, the John Dunphy uh, Innovation Award. Um, and it can be a wide variety of products here. We've had rods, reels, sunglasses, lures, anything that they think really pushes the bar for innovation gets a jersey in this category. We've got things from, uh, from Shimano, Stellas, down to lures. The winner, though, was uh, Costa's uh, Untangled Pescador. It only looks like a, a normal set of glasses, but it's actually been, the frames have been made from recycled fishing, commercial fishing nets from South America. So, uh, uh, upcycling those uh, those products which can be dangerous to the environment something that's really close to Costa's heart and I know the Costa guys were super excited about winning that award last night for innovation so there's a quick wrap up of the uh, the awards at the show we wanted the guys to come down and actually tell you a bit about them they are all super dusty they went out they celebrated last night um, we're going to catch up with that and get all of the information about these products that won the awards in the next editions of Fishing Monthly Magazines <laughs>